By the early 1970s, when the fabrics and designs of Lily Pulitzer were retail and media darlings, Tony Falcone started coming to Key West with his partner, Bill Conkle. Eventually, they decided to open up a store. It was called Fast Buck Freddy's, and it was on Key West's main drag, Duval Street. They opened at a time when many other stores on Duval Street were closing. They tapped into the new chic money that was just starting to discover Key West, with its fabulous old houses built in its late 19th century heyday and supplied housewares for all of those renovations. But in the summer, all the business died. And Falcone says they would not have made it through except for local matriarch Mary Spotswood. She would come in and buy everything. Wine glasses, placemats, and tons of housewares that she didn't even need. She did it only to try and keep us alive, Falcone said. She would come in. We had a long table and a big fan chair behind it and then some stools in front of it. And she would just come in and just sit and talk to us for hours. Well, that was classic Mary Spotswood. Mary and her husband, John, lived at 531 Caroline Street in what is known today as the John M. Spotswood House. They moved into the house in the 1940s, and she raised her three sons and granddaughters there. Mary's grandchildren are now seventh-generation conks. Mary was active in the community. She was involved in the Montessori School and was always taking on charitable endeavors. She was a member of the Laureate Delta Chapter of Beta Sigma Phi, and she opened her home to many other charitable organizations, and social events were continually being held at the Spotswood home. The society pages of the newspaper during the 1980s were full of mentions of all the charitable deeds of Mary Spotswood. She was a longtime friend and supporter of Bayview Manor. She was a hospitable woman, and she loved doing things for other people. She was constantly involved in fundraising, for organizations in town that were closest to her heart. In the 1960s, John Spotswood began his first foray into real estate development with the purchase of the Casa Marina and La Concha Hotels. John and Mary Spotswood also became friends with Harry and Bess Truman. You'll remember that Harry Truman spent many vacations as president in Key West. And John Spotswood and Mary Spotswood were some of the people that were frequently at dinner together with Harry and Bess Truman. It's not every day that you can live on a tiny island and yet still be friends and dinner companions with the most powerful man in the world. You can find reminders of Mary Spotswood all over Key West and even at the Mary and John Spotswood Waterfront Park located in the city. And it was today, December the 20th, 1996, that Mary Spotswood, the island's grand dame, matriarch, and first lady, died at the age of 73. Her late husband, John, had been sheriff of the county, a state senator, and also started Cablevision, one of the first cable systems in the country. And that's what happened today in Key West history. Today in Key West history is brought to you by 43 Keys Media. If you want to learn more about Key West history and the people who put it on the map, visit 43keys.com. You can get this program as well as others as an Alexa flash briefing. Just tell Alexa, play Today in Key West history as my flash briefing.